Hey kids, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you guys love looking at other people's six ring binder journal spreads, but you have no idea on how to create your own, be sure to keep watching as I'm gonna share five tips on how to create a six ring binder journal spread. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So creating a journal spread starts with picking a topic that you actually want to journal about. So say your topic is mood. So how I journaled about sadness and my a seven six ring binder is a great example of having a journal spread about a mood or say you want to do a topic based on music like I journaled about my favorite singer Don Richard. Whatever topic that you guys want to choose just be sure that it's clear to you and once you decide on that topic you then can go into the theme that you would like to use to go along with your topic. So a theme basically consists of a color scheme that you want to go with so maybe it's your favorite color maybe you just want to stick with warmer tones or maybe you just want to do cooler tones or maybe y'all are like me because y'all know I love my whole Roy G B of rainbow but yeah so whatever theme that you guys want to choose just be sure that you actually like it and you want to grow through with it also kittens if you guys get stuck on a specific theme you guys can look at your stationary items in order to get some inspo which actually leads into the next step and that is to gather all of the materials to create your journal spread so here y'all i'm talking about all your markers all your paper all your stickers all your washi tape your porcos your tape your scissors any and everything that you think you are going to need to create a journal spread. Even if you don't end up using it, kittens, just be sure that you get all the materials that you would like to use to create your journal spread. Pro tip, kittens, if you guys want to do this in your bullet journal as you just don't have to use a six ring of binder, you are more than welcome to do that as well. So now that we've covered the first three steps, the next part is to decide your layout. So this part, y'all can just play around, okay? It's going to change and that's okay. When you're creating a journal spread, just be patient. Sometimes it's a process sometimes you do something you don't like you like oh dang girl that ain't cute but then you could just try it again okay no pressure there's no perfect journal spread so just play around with your journal spread and try to keep in mind your layout is going to depend one on the size of your binder but also it's going to depend on how much space you want to leave for writing or adding pictures onto your spread also kittens try to decide when you're working through your layout if you actually want your journal spread to be one page or two pages because that's also going to make a difference in the amount of materials that you need in the space that you need to save and the topic that you potentially want to do so now comes the fun part which is to start creating your journal spread by the way there is no right or wrong way in creating your journal spread it is literally whatever you would like to do so just be sure when you are doing this part that you are having fun and that also that you are not hard on yourself so please just keep Keep in mind whenever you create a journal spread it's supposed to be an enjoyable experience and it can also improve your mental health Hey kittens, so I just wanted to pop back in and let you guys know that these are just going to be some clips of me decorating my rainbow journal spread as an example for today's video in my A66 ring binder. So you guys feel free to journal along with me, whether you're just starting a new six ring binder or you've always used your six ring binder for different things. So I hope you guys continue to enjoy and also I'll pop back on at the end just so I don't startle y'all FYI, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon.
Hey kittens, so here's the final result of my journal spread. Be sure to tag me on Instagram if you guys also created a journal spread using the steps I shared in this video. And I will see you all next week. I love you all and thank you so much for watching. Adios kittens.